Good afternoon, Recon here with Tech Out. Back with another Android P beta video. This is going to be the first impressions. Um, I just installed it. It literally just finished installing it. Um, I took a peek through everything real quick just so I can show you um, some of the things that are new um, that stand out right away. Um, number one is on the Pixel, your battery percentage now shows on the bottom of the always on display. Um, so you can see the 72% down there. Kind of out of the way, right above the charger, um, so you know what it is. Um, so I just got a new notification and now that popped up on the front of the display in the middle. So that is cool. Oop, it looks like I could swipe. Oh, no, it was just a line under the clock that it was showing um, what it does. So everything else, um, the home screen layout is the same. Basically, um, you can see the home button down here is more of a pillow shape now. That is actually something that you can change. Um, not the home button, what it looks like itself, but there is now a mode that you can swipe up. Um, so you swipe up for, oh, there's Twitter, um, swipe up for your recent apps. So there's no recent apps button if you have this setting turned on. And then you can just do a quick swipe down um, and bring up your next app. So that is new. Like I said, right now you can turn that on or off and it will bring your regular home button back and your back button um, if you choose to do it that way. First thing, um, the clock is on the left side now because, like I said, it does um, make room for the notch on some devices. Bringing down, you can see your preferences here and your quick settings. Um, when you have Do Not Disturb on, you can see Do Not Disturb hides notifications. Um, I don't know if you can turn that on or off. I haven't played with the Do Not Disturb settings. Um, so these are the settings now for Do Not Disturb. Um, high notification list, so yes, you can turn that on or off. Um, don't pop up notifications, don't blink light when the screen is off, don't turn on screen, don't wait for notifications. So a lot of different stuff you can customize now. Um, you can turn it on automatically as you could before. Um, you can make exceptions for alarms and different media and stuff like that. Um, going back to the settings here, you can see the settings menu. You have some stuff up here such as the phone being in vibrate and your do not disturb is on so it reminds you of those kind of things when you go in settings um, which is kind of helpful because sometimes your phone will be on vibrate or you'll have do not disturb on your you know like why am I not getting notifications well now when you go into settings um, instead of searching through all your settings to figure out that that's on you will get a little icon at the top here saying hey you know do not disturb is on another thing if you go to battery here um, you can see it now shows a time so it should last until about 3.30 a.m. based on your usage um, you do get a little health thing here. It says battery is in good shape. Battery saver is off. Adaptive battery is new, um, so that limits the battery for infrequently used apps. You can change your battery percentage and stuff like that. It has your average full charge, so my average full charge lasts about 18 hours and 28 minutes. Obviously, that is not screen on time. That is, um, you know, from the time you unplug it to the time you plug it back in um, with screen on, screen off, all that kind of stuff. So that is new. Um, nothing else really stands out. Um, this being the second beta, you know, the first beta that you can um, install OTA. It took about 30 minutes to download and install um, to do both of them. It's running very smooth. As you can see here, things run very smoothly. Um, the scrolling is really fast. Um, I'm having no lag or anything like that. Definitely doesn't feel like I just installed a beta at all. I mean, I know there can be some bugs that I probably will experience um, that may pop up here and there. You can see the new animation when you close an app there. Um, you know, I'm expecting a bug to pop up here and there or an app to have some compatibility issues until apps are updated for Android P. But other than that, I'm not having any issues. Um, the first 10 minutes have been completely stutter free, um, running well on the Pixel 2. This is the Pixel 2, by the way. So no issues. As of right now, I can definitely recommend you guys installing the beta. Um, I would definitely wait a little bit though until, you know, make sure no major bugs pop up. Um, make sure no carriers are having issues um, with the software. Make sure there's no signal issues, battery issues, um, that kind of stuff that would infect and impact your day-to-day -day usage. Um, because you're only going to get about, you know, three beta, four beta builds total throughout the period. So you're going to be stuck on this build for a little bit. Like I said, you can't unenroll your device and go back to um, your regular OTA update that is stable, but that might be a little bit harder. You're probably going to have to format your device to go backwards in software, which means you're just going to have to restore it later on. So definitely I would only re uh, install this if you do plan on using the beta. They say this is for developers and enthusiasts who want the pre-release builds and want to experience everything early. 
Um, like I said though, right now it's running very smooth, um, no lag, no stutter, everything appears to be functioning normally. So I will report back um, probably tomorrow or the next day and do like a one to two day um, update video on everything and then I'll do one after about a week as well just to let you guys know how everything is running and performing. Um, this is my daily device so I will be running the beta on my daily driver right now. Um, and this is Colin with TechOut. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.